Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm back. Hi, Sam here. Yeah, okay, it's been a couple of weeks. Okay, so so uh, the first week I was I was really ill. I don't even know what happened. Tummy issues. I don't know why. I think I've been eating incredibly healthy. Hey, Monty. Yeah, just just give me a minute. I know it's raining on you, but just just wait. Thank you. Um, but then I decided to have a um, well-known fried chicken. Um, establishments full meal and I just the net I just oh oh it did not sit well with me <laughs> and I was really ill then I went on holiday for a week so I planned to actually Monty thank you I'm I'm talking thanks so I'd meant I meant to like record a load so I'd have stuff for the whole day and I didn't anyway right we're here with Monty on an appropriately horrible rainy day yeah, because we, it's 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 not going to be fun. It's not going to be fun. Okay, this is utilitarian. This is getting stuff done. This this is yeah. This this is not going to be fun, and I'm taking you lot with me. Anyway, we're going to tidy up the island. Hi, hi. Uh, we're going to tidy up the island because we we need to get our three stars. We need the four realms. Oh, Isabel, I'm gonna have to wake you up. I'm sorry. Uh, we need the four realms. We need to split the island up into these four four little sections. We need to get on with it, okay? It, it, the the peace between Monty and Bob. I mean, at some stage, you've seen the the state he's made of the island. We're gonna have to do something, right? Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, Isabel. I love Isabel so much. Hi, Isabel. Okay, uh, right, so we're going to check what our score is. It's probably going to be like one. Uh, we've got enough residents. I don't even know what she's saying. She's just adorable. Uh, we can delve into the details. And, uh, okay, there we go. It's, it's just lovely. Lovely Isabel stuff. Oh, aren't we doing the island evals yet? We are. Okay, so we're going to find out what the um, uh, what star we have. Probably one. And then we're going to pick everything up. And then we're going to check our stars again. And then we just put things everywhere. God, what if it's three now? That would just be just a shock. Two stars. Okay, that's that's better than I thought. Um, is she going to complain about things everywhere? Natural environment. So she wants more flowers. She wants more flowers. I think I've cut all the trees down, have I? I hope not. Oh, and stuff lying around. Yes, okay, she doesn't like the stuff lying around. Okay, Isabel, I can I can handle that. I'm good for now. I love you, Isabel. Bye, Isabel. I tolerate you, Tom. Right. Oh, are we em we're, we're as empty as we can be. Let's go pick stuff up. Okay, are you ready for this? <sighs> oh, right, right. I'll tell you about my holiday as well. Do you want to know about my holiday? You go you're gonna... You're going to know about my holiday. Right, so I went on a cruise to Norway. Got a text. Yes, yeah, so I went to a, on a cruise to Norway and it was very fun. And only one of the days was it spitting down with rain and really cold. The rest of the days were okay. I may have been in a, just a t-shirt at one stage. It's very, very beautiful as Norway. Um, we tried to find a Slanty Bartfast signature on the fjords. I still haven't found it. Please comment down below if you know what I mean, because I'm not going to tell you. But no, I did not find Slanty Bartfast signature one day. This is my second, second trip to Norway. One day I will find it. I did, however. Okay, I'm just gonna pause. And if you know who Slanty Bartfast is, Put a comment down below okay and then i have to kind of tell you because i have this weird thing i do when i go to other countries okay so have you commented i hope there's like e even though i've got 300 odd subscribers i hope there's a billion answers to who slidey bartfast is if you don't know who slidey bartfast is i'm going to tell you now okay so my favorite is ever I think T if well first it was a radio station back up back in the 70s i think but my dad my dad taught me well, let's put it that way, and he, uh, he, raised, he raised his kids right and we would watch it, or sorry, we'd listen to it. And then they made a BBC, I think it's like six episodes of it. This is so going to just fill us up. Um, and we have no storage, so I don't quite know where this stuff's going to go. But it'll be fine. Um, and then, they, uh, then he, he wrote some books, Douglas Adams wrote five books? 
oh dear, something like that. And there was a, a film a few years ago as well. But anyway, I'm, I am obsessed, basically, just obsessed. So every time I go to another country, I, tr I go in the bookshop and I have to do it myself. I can't just ask. I go in the bookshop and I have to find probably a copy of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, but any of, of the Hitchhiker's books will do me. And I haven't managed to find one for a good few years. But in Norway, there, we were, there were four stops, basically. And in three, well, one of them didn't even have... Can I put anything left, anything more in storage? Whoopsie, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, no, no, it's it's full. We're done for. We are just done for. Let's just drop everything. Um, yeah, so one of the places, uh, Olden, didn't, it has like a, an amazing a coffee shop. And uh, I, can't, I, honestly, I can't talk and do this at the same time, it's ridiculous. But yeah, so I'm only counting three ports, because that's the only three ports with, with bookshops. Um, and all three of them. The first one had Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, uh, English version, which is fine. And I got the very nice, very nice man, very, 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 very nice man uh, behind the counter. I get, I get the person to, if they've got a stamp, like a stamp for the shop, I get them to stamp it. And if not, then I ask them, could you please uh, write in it where I am? And yes, yes, that is silly. I think I'm going to sell them. Or oh, let's just sell them, shall we? That's just ridiculous. Um... So I, I have in my copy, you know, where I, where I bought it kind of thing. And most of them look very confused as in, why am I writing this book? You'll never be able to return it. This is weird. But he, New Hitchhiker's Guide, it's, you know, it's getting on a bit. But he knew it and he knew what I meant by looking for Slidy Bartfar's signature. Because we are in Norway. And basically the idea is he, uh, he helped make the earth and he liked doing all the fiddly bits around the fjords, so somewhere on the Norwegian fjords is Slarty Bartfar's signature, just in case you were wondering what on earth I'm talking about. Uh, and he knew and he told me to always know where my towel is, because you've always got to know where your towel is. And the other two um, bookshops, the second one I got, Mostly Harmless, which I'm going to kick myself, but I think it's the fifth book, uh, in Norwegian. And then the third one, I got Hitchhiker's Guide. Are you interested? I don't know. I'm just talking to myself there. Um, I got Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy in Norwegian. No, I can't read Norwegian at all, but I like to have it. So that, that was my primary thing to do while away. Oh, again, seriously. Right, let's go sell these things. Um, so I got that, so that was fun. The ship was okay, it's called, it's the Iona and it's absolutely huge, but I think we all agreed, uh, went with some family, that it's soulless, does that make sense? Oh, it's up here, isn't it? It was kind of very pretty, very nice, all, all, all lovely, but, um, yeah, just kind of soulless and, yeah, the people were nice enough it wasn't anything special or you know so and it was huge which is fine but no not as I don't know, wouldn't go on it again just in case you're ever wondering about cruise ships I do like a cruise I like I ignore everybody like I just I put my my uh, buds in and just wander around and ignore all of humanity which is my normal way so I don't really, hi guys, I don't really get involved in the, oh yes, yes, Nook Cranny is, is getting big. We're expanding the shop, which means it's shut tomorrow, which that's fine, that's fine, we get the bigger shop. Um, yeah, so I don't really like all the cruise shippy type stuff. Uh, I just like wandering around. Ah, I've got an alpine this hat here, interesting. Um, so I sell just everything we can sell. Sell them. And that. Uh, there you go. Empty your pockets a little bit more. I think we might have to just fill up Monty as much as we can and then get the others to pick stuff up as well because I have no, no storage at all. But I do like a cruise because I like to just sit there and watch the water. And I all. Oh, oh, I had a, a balcony. It, it was at the back of the ship. 
which was so beautiful because you, you could see both sides and sort of the back where we'd been kind of thing. The only problem is when you look down, they were really weird. They were like tiered balconies. So if you look up, you see the people in the rooms above you can see you. That was just weird. And when you look down, there were these two huge like whirlpool hot tubs with just people in them, just people in there, you know, little little swimmy trunks and you're like, oh, oh, I shouldn't have looked down at that particular moment. Um, but other, other than that and, and seeing lots of, lots of people in, in a hot tub every time I looked down, it was very beautiful. I was very happy with that. Um, yes, so I like, I like the water, I like the buffet and just I only, I put on a pound because I did so much walking. Um, I walked up a fjord, not the whole way, they're very, very big, but I did walk up a very steep fjord and then I had to run down again because it's just very steep. <laughs> Actually, um, I'll, I'll put it in here, I've, I filmed, my, this is filmed for my, for my uh, family, so I do say love you at some stage, but I love you a lot as well, so I'm sure it will matter, but this is me running down a fjord. Hang on, Monty. Yeah, you can get it in a minute. You have to see me running down a fjord like a pillock. Okay, the only trouble, we're going up a really steep hill for an hour. Yes, an hour. Is that you've got to make your way back down. And as steep as it is going up, it's the opposite going down. The bugger's making me run it. It's so steep. I'm having to run to keep up with my feet. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Okay, you can pick it up now. There you go. She, she loves me holding her up. She absolutely loves it. Don't you, Monty? Yeah. Right, so that, that, was, that was fun. I thought I'll walk up it for an hour, and that means an hour back. So that's like a two-hour walk, walk that I've done. But it was so steep. I think it took like, me like 40 minutes to get back down it again because I was running for half the time. But, um, yeah, so that was fun. So I, I think I... I was very healthy on that trip and I made sure I walked around the, the boat and everything quite a few times. So, yeah. Health health and fitness, very important. So anyway, yeah, that was my holiday. And I, I uh, got on the books, didn't I buy those ones? Stavinger? Stavinger. I'm, I'm no good at saying the names, but they had these, the, at least three, uh, like vintage shops. And I bought myself a, a vintage, yeah, posh secondhand vintage. Why is there why why just why why is there a toilet? Just there's a toilet. Oh dear. Okay. Um. Right. Let's drop that. Let's pick this up, and we'll go and you know go see Blathers, and we'll go sell those oranges, and then we'll get on with it. But yes, and I, I bought myself a vintage Levi's uh, jacket. I'm very happy with. And a, and a denim dress that is a little tight. It's a little tight, but I'm I'm planning to continue with my fitness regime. So I'm hoping that will fit me okay. And some acid wash wet, uh, red jeans. Hey, eh? I don't I don't care if they're fashionable. I don't care. I like them. And they're a little tight as well. But we're gonna be fine. And 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 it's all it's all gonna be. Yeah yeah. It'll fit me. It'll fit me. Yeah. Okay, that's uh, eased up the pockets a little bit. We got a thing. What did you get, Monty? Probably sell stuff. Yep, let's claim that one. Oh, I thought we got 5,000 then. I was looking at the wrong bit. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Get your phone back out, Monts. Greedy weeder. We'll take that. We're we going to go. There is um. Oh, there's a stamp thing on today, isn't there? Do you have a cheeky wander around and see if we can find stuff just to get the, the plaques i think it is anyway oh well we can put we can put the um the uh, other ones down outside so that if we place things it's not messy and isabel will like us so uh, have we not set off the uh, stamp thing let's have a look if we have because i know it appeared on another island <clears throat> anyway there's there's not much okay I, I admit it, there is not much, but we're, we'll, we'll get there. I'm lying. We're not going to get there. I'm, I'm not going to do anything. I, I just want... Um, oh, oh, is it there? Yay! Stamp! The lab. Looks like they're still planning to exhibit. Uh, that we'll go here. Right. 
So butterfly guard, garden and the quiet bench. Um, let's, let's go this way. I think this is a butterfly garden. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing. <laughs> there's a spider in this. And that is our lot. Right, so this is the butterfly bit. Yay. I'm not going to do all of these. I don't know if this is the most exciting thing. We've got a few butterflies. I'm not the most exciting butterflies, but all butterflies are beautiful. So, hi guys. Uh, I think the quiet bench is this way. So what happened, else happened on my cruise? There it is. Um, I kept myself to myself mainly. I'm not really, you know, into the socialising and stuff. I'm so, I'm so miserable. I'm just like, because I'm a therapist. So I talk to people all day. So just to sit quietly and stare at some water moving is, is quite nice. And not have to talk to anyone. Hi. We'll leave you be, Blads. Right, okay. Uh, let's just put these anywhere. We have a tail. We have another tail. So very taily, this, uh, this museum right now. And another tail. <laughs> That was all the tails. The two, the same tails. God knows. Right. Okay. Let's continue. Snail. What a snail. Don't know why. I just think they're really cute. Look at him. Look at his little antennae thing. He's going up and down. Yay. Snail. Ah, oh, gross. Right. Okay. It does appear to be a little never-ending, doesn't it? Oh, Bob. Oh, he went. He was all up there as well, look. Bob was all up there. We've got to go up there. Uh, well, it was a nice little, little ten minute video. I'll tell you about my holiday. We'll just have a little run around and then we'll be done. But no. I want to see what, um, what this is going to do. How much uh, Isabel hates it being, you know, messy. And if we fall, do you reckon we'll go up to three once I've picked all this up? I reckon she'll want some more flowers and stuff because we haven't really got any. Not, you know, only what was there already. So I haven't really planted any. Hi, Mara. And our pockets are full. Oh, dear, oh dear, oh dear. There's so much more to pick up. Because uh, I had to get carried away and catch a snail. Now I know where to put the thing. We could pull out all of her... Um, furniture now i i don't know you let me know but if something is like a bed or something that's meant for indoors i read that that does not count towards the island of owl thing um is that true i don't know oh shamrock shoes let's put that in there as well no idea that that came from very odd <sighs> okay back out there come on monty I'm going to put things places and I don't care what it is or where it is. It's just going to be put places at random intervals and see what happens. I, I don't know again if it's like indoorsy stuff like the bed. Does that even count? I don't know. But we're just going to stick everything places because we can't do anything else with it. Oh, a toilet cleaning set. That would be lovely to find on your, on your nice walk through the woods. Oh, there was also, um, halfway up the fjord, there was uh, this, this basic pile of stones that's, that had been, I guess, created over time of um, uh, just like this round tower uh, thing. So I added a little... I, I added a... Uh, a stone to it. I don't know if I was supposed to or if that's what it's for, but I, I did. So I have a little stone added to a, a stone towery thing in Norway. So that's that's something exciting. See if anyone ever finds the, the fjord. Okay, I think I think Bob never managed to wreck anything up here. So we're oh, oh, okay, wrecked a little bit, but that's okay. I've put down everything like that I have all the furniture and things so we'll just see what else Monty might might actually manage to get everything she might and then what we're gonna do somehow we've got to figure out how to do this fairly or at least start them off if we right so we get three stars we level everything so we can set out the the four realms of new Miranda which is the whole point of this um, 
and then we put all of the resources in the middle of the island and some sort of game to see what who gets what and what furniture and things like that and then maybe they could do, like do swaps and and trade and and things that 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 will that'll go well i i can see no problems coming from that Oh, the spa, did I? Oh, I haven't told you about that. I got ripped off. Ripped off in the spa. Absolutely. Because you go in there and they're all, they're all so nice. They're all so nice. And they really care about you. You know, you're so important. And your skin is so important. And I didn't mean to. I really, I don't know what happened. I went in thinking, I, I'd had a, I had a fringe, basically. Uh, and the hairdresser cut it really long. So I was like, well, while I'm here, see if someone can cut my fringe because they've got like her hairdresses in there. So that was predominantly what I was going down there for. But then they were giving tours and this nice, nice lady said, right, come with me, come on. Uh, apparently I'm, I'm going with you. And there was this other lady who was very nice wandering around with me. Both of us looking lost and like, we, we don't want to be here really, but OK. Um, and they're so nice. And then they're like, they're going to book you in and it'll be wonderful. I'm like, whoa, OK, what, what am I doing now? Where? And... They, then they, they offer a free a free analysis of your face, which is basically just six of the most scary, terrifying pictures you'll ever see of yourself because they, they show your skin damage. I have extensive skin damage, apparently. I've never sunbathed the day in my life. I don't like sitting out in the sun, but no, no, it, it comes through the window. It does. It attacks you through the window. You have skin damages. And another one shows you how many um, like blackheads you'll have if you don't buy everything they tell you to. And oh, a couple of other ones. And one of them just looked like I've got this yellow pus growing across my face. It was the weirdest thing, but I was like, free, okay. And she was going on about this and this, and she was really, you know, friendly and talk quickly. And they don't ask you, so, okay, so we'll put you in for this one. We'll do this and then we'll do this. And then we, we have this amazing machine and all this amazing technology and it basically electrocutes you or something. I don't know. So I was like, okay. And then you're on a cruise, you're on holiday, you're looking at them and you're like, ah. and they're so nice. They're just so nice. And, and selly, they just sell you anything. I was like, oh, well, okay. And of course she goes for the most expensive one, £149 for this 50-minute facial. I'm like, I can't do this, can I? But then it's like, well, she's so nice and she's done it now. And then I asked about having my fringe cut and I get this guy and he's pulling my hair around going, who coloured this? Who did this? Did you cut this yourself? What's happened? I was like, bloody hell. And then it's like, my hairdresser is like the worst person and it's completely the wrong colour. I just, I did dye a bit darker brown. That's all. My, I have dark brown hair. Um, normally I have light brown hair, but now I have dark brown hair. And he's like, this is wrong. You need highlights. You need this. You need that. He cut my fringe and he, he cut it all right. You know, it was fine. And he only charged me £10 for the cutting of the fringe. But then it was like, okay, we're going to book you in. We're going to use this. We're going to use this blonde highlights. We're going to do this and we're going to shape it. And oh, it's done such a terrible job on you. And yeah, I think he had. But there you go. So in, in the end, I end up booking this facial and and having my hair cut. And like, but I've just had it coloured and he wasn't going to, you know, didn't give me any skin tests. Normally, if you go to a new hairdressers they give you a skin test to see if you're okay with whatever dye they use and this is exciting isn't it and you know it was like just completely put down like the other hairdresser I'm sure he's not like he's you know working with the stars or anything but he's a perfectly nice bloke and seems to know what he's doing I don't know I thought my hair looked all right it was just the fringe was a bit too long I think we've done it blimey um but yeah, so that was terrible and awful and, and my hair was the wrong colour even though I liked it and I was like, so okay, so I had the facial the next day and I this looked like she'd washed my face, you know, I don't, I don't, I think it's a bit cleaner because she deep cleaned it and there was this sucky thing that went on my face and there's like two metal bally roddy things that do something, I, I don't know, but I don't think I look any... You know, she just looked like she washed my face and my face was soft because she put a load of moisturiser on and things. And I wasn't in there. I was like, oh, should we do something with your eyes? Because they give you this... Um, I'm ranting now. They, they give you this... Um, 
Uh, oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was too good to be true. Oh, there's only a few things. Let's go sell. Um, they give you this questionnaire and what are you most worried about? And I was like, you know, yeah, the, uh, dark circles under my eyes, I guess. I mean, if I have to choose something, I'm not worried by it, but they exist because everyone has dark circles under their eyes. It's thinner skin. Anyway, so of course, oh, do you, do you want, we'll do a bit more extra on your, on your, uh, eyes a bit extra 20 minutes and so I was like, oh, well, all right then so I did it and it was all you know electrocuty and it was fine but oh it came out 279 quid I'm thinking what? and then oh she sits right next to me like just my bestest friend ever and oh this is these are the things that you need I need these things we we no I need to pay my mortgage and, and feed my family that's what I need but apparently no my skin needs 900 pounds worth of stuff she she wrote all this stuff down and at first there was like no no price list so I'm like I, I, it's obviously down to price I, you know I'm not rich or anything <laughs> so and then she's sort of begrudgingly writing the prices down I added it up after and it wasn't about 900 quid's worth of stuff and it's like well, I can't do that obviously why would you think I can do that but she keeps going on about all this stuff I need and how cold Norway is and and my skin's gonna peel off as soon as I get outside so I'm like okay I'll buy that one so I bought this one thing at like 69 pounds it's off it's cheaper in boots I'm just saying it's like seven pound cheaper in boots it's a big chemist in England um why am I going in here I don't know let's see if we can drop any more stuff off but um yeah, so it's like, I need this and I need that. And it's, oh, my Lord. So it felt like I couldn't get out un until I did something or paid for something. But, um, yeah, so I, sp I, I left. I was really upset because I felt I've let myself get ripped off here. This was stupid. I, I didn't even mean to go in the spa. I just wanted my hair cut. I don't know, just my fringe trimmed. And I was so upset with myself and I was up all night. I think I had like an hour's sleep. Oh, no, I'm, it's ridiculous. I know it's ridiculous. But I was like, well, I don't want my hair coloured again. I'm fine with how it is. Oh, look, what an egg. Um, and, and it was like, I don't want to spend at least 70 quid and he probably would have put more on it. Look, you can tell I'm upset because I'm talking over the little thing in the corner. And I generally try and edit that out. But, um... So, yeah, I was just like, uh. So I, I went to the reception. It was a very, very nice man on reception, but you could, he, he emailed them. And I was like, I'm really scared of the women in there. And he's like, why are you scared of them? Because like, they're so nice and they, they're, they're going to say stuff and I'm not going to be able to do anything. And I'm scared. Please don't make me. So he emailed them to cancel it. He said, we're not sure if that will go through. You may have to go down there. So then I was all brave. And he couldn't, I couldn't, I wanted to return this 60, 69 pound thing. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll go down there then. But I was really scared. But I know it's ridiculous, okay? I, I do understand the ridiculousness of all of this. And I went down there, it was like, you know, barely eight, eight o'clock in the morning, I think, because I just opened this place that, that looks like I meant to do it. And I went down there, I was like, I would like to cancel my haircut and, and return this, please. And she was so nice. She was like, yeah, okay. And she just did it without any worry. But I was so worried. They can have a go at me. They're going to charge me. I'm going to have to have it done anyway. And I was like, oh, my Lord. Anyway, that was my spa thing. I will never go into another spa on a cruise ship ever again. So what's the point? Anyway, what's the point of this bloke doing my hair? Because even if he's brilliant at it, it, what I'm gonna go and find him on the cruise ship every time I want my hair coloured did you did you see that that's what I normally do I pause and I edit out the little thing in the corner but <clears throat> anyway um oh, okay I've let that out I feel better having told somebody do you understand do you ever have that please let me know please do you do you ever like you know go in somewhere and they're so nice and you're like I have to do it now because they're going to be disappointed in me if I don't. And then you're up spending money and you're like, oh, I wish I hadn't done this. I really wish I hadn't bothered. But anyway, it's fine. I don't know. It was a lovely cruise, right? <laughs> OK, Isabel. Um, are we ready? Do you reckon this has done anything? If not, we're going to have to do some work. No. Oh, she wants flowers, doesn't she? 
She wants flowers. Okay, Izzy. I know you love your flowers. Natural environment. Flowers. Right, okay. So, I'm actually going to leave this here because I've been wittering on for way longer than I meant to. And it's all meant already half one. And I need to get this out today. Uh, it's it's today. Yes. Okay. I love you, Isabel. I'll plant, we'll plant you loads of flowers because you're lovely. But yes, that is my, my job for this, this evening while watching telly. I'll just plant a load of flowers down. Uh, we'll just have to dig them all back up again. Oh, we got two pink ones. Exciting. And it's raining. They may, they may spawn. You never know our luck. Um, can I pick that up? I cannot. Okay, fine. I didn't want to anyway. Hi. Anyway, I'm leaving it there. Where can we go, Monty? Should we hide in the trees just to get away from the from the weather? There you go, Monty. She's all pleased with her work today. But anyway, yes, I am leaving it there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And and my my tale of, of, of spa-like woes and spending money I don't have and being an idiot. But Norway is beautiful. If if you if you fancy somewhere to go and just look at pretty things and they're everyone's so nice. Um, actually nice, not I'm trying to sell you something at an overpriced spa nice. They're very nice, helpful people. And the coffee is just amazing. They they really have very good coffee. Um, and and cakes. But anyway, just <laughs> go to Norway. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you next time for hopefully, finally, three stars and demolishing. And then we will start our four realms of new Miranda. Bye!